when we're now going to have a look at more on the infrared pointer on the Wii remote. Now, previously in one of my other tutorials, I think it is it's 107 or 108, I think possibly 108, I covered how to use the infrared pointer to create a basic mouse. Now, what I'm going to do is, after covering that, I've uploaded some basic script to my website at riddlersoft.com. Uh, you go to the forums, you'll be able to download it from there. Just a basic script for a Wii Mote pointer. Um, and that's quite nice, very simple, not much in it. Purely up to you to alter it, make it exactly how you want it. So that's there for your free personal use. Um, however, we can actually use the Wii Remote infrared pointer to calculate distance. And it's quite easy to do this. And we, I'm only going to show you with one infrared pointer. Again, you can use two, like I explained in the tutorial that I've previously just been talking about. So I'm going to go debug equals remote one dot dot one. And if you look at the dot one, we have visible, we have x and y, and we have size. We're going to use size. I'm going to run this code. Just going to switch my Wii on because I'm using my Wii for my um, infrared pointer, and I'll just wait for that to boot up. And there we go; it's just registered it. Now you can see the distance is three. If I go closer to my Wii remote, it goes to f to my infrared pointer four, five, six, and so on and so forth. As I come along, it goes three, two, and it goes down to one. Now I'm going to now use both Wii remotes because it was a bit jerky pointers. So we mote one dot dot two size and then divide that by of course two. And you see it's measuring a distance there more accurate because um, some pointers are giving off different data. So you see two and it went up to one as I get closer it also changes as well and as I go further away. So you see there's quite a bit of a, a distance there. Um, you could use the round to make this more accurate. And of course you want to make sure that there's no other infrared devices that are interfering with it because like we know that the sun gives off infrared and therefore interferes. So you see we have two, I go close to three, four, five, four and then it will go up to five and six as we've already actually covered. And it's just some, oops, it's just a nice bit of script in there that we can use. Sorry, Glove Pie is just trying to catch up with me. Um, that you can actually use and to calculate your distance. So I suppose if you were a good programmer, you could actually have a program with many windows and you wanted to go through the windows, you could tab through them as you were using um, the distance function or if you wanted to control the volume you could set the volume to whatever the distance was from the Wii remote. Now really that's the only other thing I can really think of to cover on the infrared fun uh, functionality of the Wii remote. If there's anything that you feel I've not really covered or you want me to cover in more detail if you just post on either the co make a comment on the tutorial or post on the forums at my site you're more than welcome to and I'll try and incorporate those ideas into another tutorial. As I say there's already one on the pointer. Um, just a brief thing to make uh, to note that the Wii Remote actually has the capacity to note four infrared devices. Um, I, I think I covered it in the other one but I'll just show you this as well. We can check to see how many infrared um, devices are available by just going the Wii Remote we want to use, in this case one, dot LED uh, sorry, dot, dot one viz, and then you just go along and stick some speech marks in like so, and then add in we moat one dot. Sorry, I've spelled we moat wrong. We moat one dot, and then the dot two visible. I'll just run this and show you. See the both set to false, the both set to true. If I go too far to one side, only one will be set to true. Um, you see that it's picking up quite a few there and I'm pointing actually outside the window and the sun's just reflecting and giving off loads of different values. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any more infrared devices of it, uh, points available. Um, 
plus we note one dot dot three visible, and then finally we note one dot four visible, which should be quite an interesting one. And if I run that, we should have oops. Um, oh, I've gone past the line length. Ha. Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, I can't remember if you can go into more than one line in Group Pi. Nope, you can't. So I'll just go up to the dot three and then take the plus off the end. Oh, and I forgot the plus there. I think that's what the problem was actually. Just let me we note one dot dot four signs. I just forgot one of the plus signs that I needed to actually make the code work. There you go, yes. Just forgot a plus sign. I, I didn't think there was a line length. See, we have two infrared pointers there. Yes, just, just two where I'm pointing it, of course, at my Wii pointer. If I'll go outside, again, it's... Oh, it picked up three briefly there. There you go, it's picked up three devices. And there, just picked up fourth one. So you can see you get a lot of interference. They say they're all true. A lot of interference when you the sun's involved because it bounces off of different objects, heats them up, and then gives off infrared. So that's all I'm going to cover in the infrared. As I say, if you want any help on more subjects, post, and I'll try and incorporate those.